Alright, here we go. I know I ain't made anything in a long time, that's for sure. But, uh, I just picked these two John Deere's up. We got this one Wednesday, and then we got this one Thursday. We were going to get them both on the same day. My dad got a 445 on that Wednesday. But by the time he went to the John Deere place here in town, and then out to another town, um... Then, uh, by the time he was done getting his 445, it's like a 98 model, I think he got, um, two-wheel stair on it. I think it's a 20 horsepower Kawasaki. I, I don't remember exactly. But, either way, by the time he picked that up, it was thunder and thunderstorming and just raining really bad. So, where he had to go was another hour away to pick this one up. But, um, so, they ended up going Thursday, where I held down the Ford at the shop. One son went that day to pick up those two, and then had another son go with, with my dad to pick this one up. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so this one was in, this one was in Jacksonville, and then at the John Deere place, quality equipment, and then, um, the other one was New Bern. The 445 and this one was actually in snow hill um so either way um i got this yeah like i said from quality equipment it came with the came with the manual 120 dollar manual came with the bagger system right there um i actually need the bags but i mean i can't complain for the price i paid for this to be honest with you but um i'm gonna take the deck off grease it all up make sure everything's good i did use it obviously a little bit um cut some grass but um and the same thing with that but i already cut it with that before this one right there before it blew up my fault i knew it was low on oil um but i put the deck from that one underneath that one because that deck lift arm rusted in two and the part is not available so i went ahead and put on that um like i did at the end of last year but like i said i couldn't find that deck lift arm anymore and then this one i mean they're both they both were good brakes and strands this is an 18 and a half and this one should be an 18 and a half but um yeah, it's a. Uh, it was low on oil. I knew it. I didn't. I don't think I had had any. So I just started up, ran it, did most of the yard, and then when I got over to here, it decided to lose all compression. So either way, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Honestly, that deck, like I said, goes over there on that one. This deck is actually at the shop. I was going to weld it up because it was rusted through in a bunch of areas. Matter of fact, one of the spindles is going crooked. Um, but that deck was just messed up. So at the end of last year is when I just threw this on there. I took it back off, you know, hoping I would find that. But then, you know, when the grass started growing everywhere, I needed to do something and um, i threw that on there and then blew it up but either way i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i mean like i said that was a good motor that actually that was a good motor i mean this one needs a little bit of carb work since it sits a lot uh, i'm pretty sure this one does i didn't realize that the air filter cover was off of it all winter long so you know that may not be good anyways that deck is right there when we were unloading it no when we were loading it onto my dad's truck um it fell sideways and busted through this this it wasn't as bad as it is now but it's been sitting out more I mean, it, it, it was pretty bad so either way you know i got lucky i found these for a pretty decent deals so you know keep these nice the decks are in excellent condition but yeah i'm gonna do an oil change on this 
and then um, fuel filter right there. I'm gonna do the. This is a 2003 GX325. I don't know if I said that. There's my grease gun. There's my Amsoil grease. Um, I got John Deere oil filters for these. I may change them to Amsoil, but um, in this case, I think John Deere is gonna be do just fine. This is an 18 horse Kawasaki. Um, runs pretty good. There's my fuel filter. Here is my transmission filter. And then all of this stuff is <laughs> rather expensive, but you need it. So if you want to keep it good, you got to pay for it. I mean, you can't get it anywhere else, really. Um, this is the hydraulic filter for the... Uh, for the deck and the and the differential um now both the trans side and the hydraulic side take take that high guard um i got the i went ahead and got the john deere turf guard like i said i may change it to amsoil um the small engine oil that they have here's the two oil filters honestly i don't remember which one is which um, but I'll just look it up. It honestly might be, where is this one? I don't know. Oh, I oh, 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 oh. put my fingers in the way. Yeah, it's right here. This might tell me the, let's see here. Engine oil. In oil. Okay, so it takes 1.7 quarts. Okay, it doesn't give me the oil filter number. Either way, this might be John Deere. I think it is, yeah. And honestly, it looks like they've done what what Man, Hummel, and Wicks have done. They've uh, brought a lot of their filters together and they use them interchangeably I forget some numbers but either way um, you can't do that on some motors like a Chevy Traverse it will actually mess up you can't use that 48 or whatever it is I forget the number that is actually needed on that but um, either way like I said I'm gonna drop that deck change the trans filter hydraulic filter all right there drop it all out drain the engine oil um, these are obviously both air cooled, so I don't have to worry about coolant. Um, grease these up, clean the deck, take the covers off. Same thing with that. This guy, he kept it uh, very, very nice. He he actually had it greased up, and he had the uh, trans service done. Um, I'm going to probably leave that fuel filter, seeing as I only got one in this one. When I looked in there, the the fuel smelled a little old and up and and was discolored. But um, I've got I actually ran that out and then put some non-ethanol. And then today I just put some of the PI Performance gasoline enhancer from Amsoil Improver, whatever you want to call it, that we stock at the shop. Um, this is a 2000, the man I got it from said 16, but I, I honestly, I, I really do not know, um, if they go up to 16, I thought I read somewhere online, 16 and 17, they have a 534, but when I look everything up, 15 is the latest that it goes up to, so, or when I look up some other things, but the, uh, this Kawasaki, says where are we at okay yeah 730v it says 2015 manufacturer date so i'm gonna say it's a 15 because when you go to like tractordata.com um look up info on this it only has it up to a 15 model but and, i mean these seats i know i'm going off yeah it's separating here it's starting to but i mean generally speaking that's that's pretty nice same thing with this one 
um, I don't think that no that's not separating so if I can keep it out of out of the weather and out of the Sun when I'm not using it they should last me a little bit I mean those are some expensive seats two hundred dollars for the John Deere seats I think maybe maybe a little bit over 200 depending what seat you need but I mean they're nice and comfortable um, it's hydraulic deck lift on both of them this one is four-wheel steer it's super awesome super fun um, if you don't like zero turns there's your answer four-wheel steer I don't mind zero turns I've used um, I used them a few times when I was helping helping a friend of mine out um, but these honestly are are very very fun if I get something else honestly I want it to be you know in in the future because uh, this uh, set me back just a little bit uh, just yeah it's gonna be it's probably going to be a uh, four-wheel drive diesel so probably like a 700 series but um, you know that that's in the future I don't necessarily need well I take that back way down there that yard is super wet last year it rained so much it just stayed wet um the whole yard stayed wet all out over there um but you know that that that's in the future that's gonna be awesome but it's gonna be it's gonna be in the future so like i said um honestly i'm I'm gonna take this deck off just to look at it take the covers off make sure it's cleaned i know i got it dirty from when i you know tested it out here um and i just want to see everything but like i said he he really had it greased and he had it um the trans service i'm not sure about the oil I don't remember exactly what he said, but he's got a pure layer oil filter on there. So I'm going to take that, take that off, throw the John Deere back on there. Um, and then, oh yeah, this one's got locking diff. It does work. When I, uh, here, matter of fact, let me show you. My cousin asked me, she came to the shop and I explained to her where dad was going when I was working on her car. That's one guy. He went to get the first two. Um, so what do you need so many lawnmowers for? Well, I took a short clip. I took that four-wheel steer. And like I said, this ground is mushy. And usually, you know, like two years ago, yeah, I used to be able to cut this. It didn't rain so much. But it, uh, we had just a little bit of fun right there. So the, um, I wanted to... I had it cut up to, well, you can see, halfway through right here. So I came over, I'm like, okay, let's try this. But when I came here, I mean, the GX325, I think, weighs over 650 pounds without the mower deck and fuel in it. And I don't, that, that 534 is, uh, is just a little bit bigger. So I'm sure it probably weighs... I don't know, maybe 50, 75 pounds heavier, around a little over 700. But I threw that, I put that in there, and boom, that was it. I got stuck. I tried to rock it back and forth. I moved just a little bit, but just made some more holes. So I got to 325 over here, and we uh, we inked it out. Had one of my other sons, but um, so that was the first night I had. So that was actually Thursday night when I got the second one, the 534. Um, and the, the three, the GX325 I had from Wednesday, but you know, we broke it in pretty quickly. So like I said, he, when, when we got this, when we got this, it was, you know, super clean, nice, but now it's, now it's all dirty. So I'm going to try to keep it as clean as, keep it as clean as I can. So that's why I'm going to take that deck off, change the oil look at everything same thing here grease it all up and hopefully i'll be able to keep some good lawnmowers um let's uh let's start up i did have it running i don't think i'll have to choke it we'll see no, it's been a little bit so hold on bear with me let's see
there we go. Low speeds, the charge light is on. I bring it up. It goes away. start this guy up yeah as you saw both headlights work this one has the right side out the element is, the, yeah, the element is bad in it I checked it just a little bit ago um, let's see here am I gonna have to choke this guy yeah how can I do this right, I'm gonna set you down right there hopefully the phone don't drop Watch your feet. <laughs> yeah, the gentleman I bought this from had a full tank of gas. I brought it down just a little bit, then put my non-ethanol in it. I don't know what he used. Uh, but, and then I put that PI in there. Yeah, this one, I don't know if you saw it or not. This one's got somewhere over 500. Let's see. 565.6. I put roughly, I'll say between half an hour to hour on both. Because I drove around, obviously, this one Wednesday, Thursday. A little bit yesterday. And then today, this one, you know, Thursday. Yes, Friday and today. But, yeah, both... Uh, very very nice lawnmowers i mean this one is 17 18 years old depending on produ production date but um i mean they kept they kept good care of it you know from what i can tell so i'm hoping once i take this take the covers off the deck i don't see anything but obviously you don't really hear any pulleys too bad it may be hard inside the video but um same thing with this one I said he kept he kept this thing immaculate. This guy was good. My dad said that he had a X700, I think. It was super clean, but the body was plastic. Um, and I, I don't remember what else he had. I think he might have had an X300, I, you know, series. I don't, I don't know, but, you know, I'm happy. I got metal bodies, and it's doing pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and service these guys. And when that grass grows get rid of those guys hopefully i don't know like i said before i don't know what i'm gonna do with them we'll see um 
but when that grass grows, you know, cut it. It's got a, I mean, it can go down to an inch, you know, that's, that's pretty low. I don't want, you know, grass burning so much, but, you know, sometimes some areas you might want it. Um, but other than that, yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to have fun servicing. Hopefully my kids may, may or may not help me. I don't know. it would be nice so they can learn and have fun at the same time. But other than that, guys, have a good one. Later.